Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 023. On my website you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, yay, well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 023, task briefing. Sometimes online footage contains more information than meets the eye. In October 2023, I uploaded a video to my YouTube channel where for a split second between minute 3 and 4, my desktop wallpaper is partially visible. Your task is to A. Find the title of the illustration as given by the artist and B. Find how much it would cost for the artist to create a similar piece in size and detail. And note, please, please do not contact or harass the artist in any way. You are not required to interact with them to complete these tasks. And have Marty's exercise level as easy for everyone. All the tasks are easy. It should be very straightforward. And you can click here to go to my list of videos on YouTube. So if you click there, here you go. You go to the page because we'll need to start with that. Okay, so first of all, let's summarize this. Okay, we know that in October 2023, I apparently uploaded a video to YouTube. In that video, between minute three and four, you can see for a fraction of a second part of my desktop wallpaper. We also know it is an illustration because that is the word I use. It's not a photo. The second task then asks for a price and contains a note asking you not to contact the artist. That means two things. First, the artist can create illustrations on demand. And second, they have the prices displayed somewhere. We just need to find where is this somewhere. And that is it. Okay, so let's start with identifying the October 2023 video. So let's go back again and we're going to check this. And there are a few videos, right? The thing is, I only uploaded one video in October 2023. So I was making this a bit easy for you and you can see when they were published. It doesn't say the specific date. It'll just say how many months ago. Let me just zoom in a bit and, you know, just kind of calculate from the time that you are watching the video or you are trying to do the exercise and go back how many months. So in this case, you would have been three months ago. So this is the video we're looking for and it's titled file type, the best advanced search operator for OS investigations, question mark. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to make sure this is a good quality. It is, here you go, because we're going to be looking to see if we can find the image and we want the image to be the best possible quality. And you can also scroll a bit just to confirm when it was published. So if you hover there where it says three months ago, whatever, how many months ago or years when you're watching this, it says there it was uploaded on the 24th of October, 2023. So you go, right. So now we have to watch the video and we have to watch the video between minute three and minute four in the hopes of seeing a glimpse of this wallpaper. That's what we're going to do now. So we're going to drag this all the way to minute three. There we go. Where is minute three? That's two point. Okay, that's fine. And we just start playing. That's what we're going to do. That's what I do a lot when I'm watching videos on YouTube, I just watch them and I watch them and I go back and I go forward and I watch it again. So at this point, uh, this is a video where I am um, just, it's like an audio version of a blog entry I wrote on file type, which is uh, an advanced search operator for Google. It's great. I absolutely love it. I love that file type operator. It's so cool. I find so many cool things with it. But anyway, so this is a static, nothing is happening. Oh, okay, something happened. So now it's still going. So we're now at 334, 45, and I moved the window. And did you see it? Because you've linked it, you have missed it. It was just in front of us. So I'm going to click the arrow back. So it goes back five seconds. So you see there, five seconds, play it again, see if you can spot it. So move it, move it, done. It's already passed, okay. <laughs> Okay, so I want to take this opportunity to mention again that I have found very nice content on random footage by noticing tiny details like this one. A frame that just feels out of place, you know, something that just gets your attention, sometimes containing a split second of a reflection, someone's face, a signature, a name of a place, etc. It's brilliant. People sometimes upload content without noticing that it contains information that they did not want public. And in case you are wondering, no, this was not one of those cases. I planned this exercise months in advance. I am also very careful. 
So in general, my advice when watching footage, keep your eyes on the screen. Go back, go forth anytime you think you spotted something. And we have, we have spotted something. There's a wallpaper to find out. The problem is that this video is on a 25 frames per second and the image is only visible in one of those frames. And yes, that was also done on purpose. You're welcome. So how can we now pause on the correct frame? We cannot just keep going back and forth, pausing and unpausing in the hopes of the video stopping at the perfect frame. And I can even tried it let's go back again i'm going to try is it gone already no it's not it's going to be no miss it okay here you go you're not going to do it i mean you can try but it's going to be extremely frustrating so how do we solve this we're going to use our keyboard you don't need to download the video you don't need to use any fancy tools for this you just need to use your keyboard here you go simple i like simple things so i'm going to bring here a picture of a keyboard so i can explain what i'm talking about so you probably know that you can click the left arrow on youtube to go back five seconds i've just showed you that and you can click the right arrow to move forward five seconds we're not going to use those we're going to be clicking the key that has the comma and the dot so comma dot you see comma dot this will move the footage frame by frame so it's not seconds it's actually frame by frame and i've showed this technique in a video walkthrough before it was on the 018 but it was only optional at the time this time you really really need to use this i have tested this technique with various keyboard layouts so i changed the keyboard layout on my computer a lot of times i picked languages with completely different scripts and it's always these two keys so find these keys on your keyboard and those are the ones that you're going to be using the comma is going to go back frame at a time the dot is going to go forward a frame at a time so comma dot so let's do this we know we just passed because i just i tried to pause it really fast and i couldn't so what am i going to click now i'm going to click the comma to go back so frame by frame let's click 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 there you go see you go it's here it's here you can move forward once and that's it it's gone and you go back and you move back again and it's gone so like i said it's literally one frame and this is the frame we have found it this is a partial image of my desktop wallpaper it's not the full illustration almost we can work with it we can work with a lot of things now we're going to take a screenshot because we'll need to do an image reverse search and for that i'm going to use here my little tool it's called flame shot i love it because it's free and open source and i love anything that's free and open source so i click it and it has been saved brilliant thank you very much now as you may know to do an image reverse search you can use a search engine in this case i'm going to use google images it's quite good and it's going to give us the result we need anyway so i'm going to get my picture and i'm going to drag here so this is the screenshot we literally just took and what we have here we have two very very good results the first one from twitter here and the second one on art station and we can compare and we can see this is definitely the same picture so we have here the t-shirt says oh rats and it has a little mouse here you see it's the same one it's there this is a bit more cropped and it matches the one we saw on my video so brilliant we found my wallpaper love it and i can prove it to you here we go it's on my desktop this is my wallpaper and you can see my rubbish bin here, which is a little shark and he has a fish in his mouth because it's full. I can just say empty. Yep. And no fishy. It's very sad now. It doesn't have a fish anymore. Anyway, so now we have these two results, right? And we're not done yet, are we? Because we need to find the name of this work of art. So now there are two routes because obviously we have these two good matches. Like I said, the one from Twitter and the one from ArtStation. I'm choosing to click the second one. So leading to ArtStation because Twitter now requires an account to access content. You can still work around it, but I'd rather just show you how you can get results without having to create an account anywhere. You don't need accounts for anything. So I'm going to click now. And in general, ArtStation is a lot more stable than Twitter as well, which is, to be fair, a very low bar at this point. So let's just do this. So we're here now on the artist's portfolio. So you just scroll a bit, scroll a bit, see if we can spot. And here it is, the picture we're looking for. So I'm going to click on it. And here we go. We have found the name involuntary Rat Queen in its glory here we go i'm going to prove it again here it is mine is a bit cropped but it's the same it's an amazing piece of art i love it so we have answered the first question or the first task which was the title of the art which is called involuntary rat queen as i've said so let's go back to the second task second task how much it would cost for the artist to create a similar piece in size and detail so something similar to this how much would this 
type of work cost and we can start by checking the profile to see if there's any information so there's a link here says prints if you click it there is nothing i need that already you can check all of them but the, none of them they're all empty which is fine because this is not a place we're going to find the price instead we're going to click resume right so we're going to click this one here and this one again doesn't have any information about prices however it has links to accounts on other platforms and you can see it's here so this one will just lead us again to the art station we don't want that we already checked it so we need to check this so this one will be instagram this one will be twitch and this one will be deviantart and deviantart is the one we're going to click because if you're not familiar with deviantart it's a bit like an old school version of artstation it has been around for decades literally decades and it's a place where artists can sell their work so a bit like artstation but you know older much older often people will have information about commissions or collaborations with other artists so this is our primary target to find information about prices so we're going to go there and we're going to click on it so you can see like i said it's it looks very similar to artstation and now we're on the page of the artist so here you go same name right so if you scroll a bit you'll see this is a profile information about the artist and we have here saying commission information and has a few prices so this is very promising so we're going to do that we're going to click posts here you can click directly this one but i'm going to click post in case this is not the most recent one when you're watching this video so posts and you go and then you'll just have a list of posts and again we're going to click this one now commission information and you're going to scroll and there's the prices and if you keep scrolling you'll see so character type a half body slash bust this is the price that's not what we're looking for we're looking for something more complex type b full body simple or no background again not what we're looking for we need something more complex because we did have a background remember it was quite a complex background again and there we go Complete illustration, character plus background starts at $190, depends on the details. And there's a few examples. All the examples look more or less like the one I have on my wallpaper. So this is it. We have answered the second task. That was very easy, right? So how much does it cost? The price will start at $190, depending on details, of course. So there are a few other ways to get to this page. You could, for example, Google the name of the artist, which we found on the first time so you know the name of the artist is here if you can click there say so you can google this and you can google the words prices so the two things combine the name of the artist plus the word prices on the results you will find reddit comments because this artist also has a reddit account and they will talk about their art and talk about their prices but it will always lead you to the page we were just now so on the post you can also click there commission info so from the Reddit page, they will link to this page with the prices. You could also have done the Twitter route. So from Twitter, there's a bio, there's links. And if you just click the links, eventually you will be led into DeviantArt to this specific page. So it doesn't really matter what route you take. As long as you get here, you get to the correct answer. So that is it. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoy the digital art. I absolutely love it. Have a great week. Leave some comments. I like the comments. Thank you.